There are multiple ways you can integrate Zoom with Splash. So before you get started, you'll want to figure out which option is best for your team. First, you need to decide if you'll be using Zoom webinars or Zoom meetings. Both Zoom products are similar, but webinars are designed to be host and panelist driven, whereas meetings are designed to be collaborative, with all participants able to screen share, use audio and video, and see who else is in attendance. Let's begin with Zoom webinars. If your team plans to host Zoom webinars frequently, you'll want to take five minutes to set up the Zoom webinars integration. Once it's configured, here's what happens. When a host creates an event in Splash, a webinar is created in Zoom. RSVPs from the Splash event automatically sync to Zoom as approved registrants. Zoom join URLs are sent from Splash or Zoom, depending on your team's integration settings. When guests join the event in Zoom, checked in and checked out statuses automatically sync back to the Splash guest list. It's a beautiful thing. Now you might say, hey, that integration sounds great, but I'd like to offer my guests a unique and branded experience. If that's the case, you'll want to use your event's virtual event page. This will automatically embed the Zoom webinar in Splash, creating a fully on-brand and gated virtual viewing experience. From the host's perspective, nothing changes. You'll still host the event in Zoom, and on the back end, your check-in and check-out statuses will remain fully automated. The main difference is where guests are viewing the event and how they're joining, which will be using a personal access link sent through Splash instead of Zoom. If you're hosting a one-off webinar or you only plan to host webinars occasionally, then the integration setup isn't really needed. Instead, add the virtual event page to your event on a case-by-case -case basis. Then embed or link out to the webinar, depending on how you'd like your guests to join. Now let's talk about Zoom meetings. As a host running a meeting, no integration setup is required. So to get started, just use the virtual event page on your event. Similar to Zoom webinars, you get to decide if your guests will join the event using the embed in the virtual event page or using a link out to Zoom. The upside of joining from inside the virtual event page is you get to create a distinctly branded experience and you can collect checked in and checked out data. All you have to do is enter your Zoom ID in the virtual event page and distribute personal access links using your Splash calendar invites and Splash emails. The alternative option is to have guests join using the Zoom application. The advantage here is that you get the best version of every collaborative and interactive tool Zoom has to offer. So if the event is truly a meeting with a high level of audience participation, you'll probably want to use virtual event pages link out function. Two notes about this. Guests will need to have Zoom downloaded to their viewing device and your check-ins will still be captured to Splash, but this option doesn't record check outs, which is the time the guest leaves the event. And there you have it some simple guidelines for how to choose a Splash Zoom solution for one of your events.